Nick. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for coming today. My name is Katie O'Neill, and I'm here at TransWest in Frederick, Colorado, and I'm here to show you through our 2020 Dutch Star. Uh, my name, again, Katie O'Neill. My number is 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659, and you can reach me by text, phone, or email, whatever is more convenient for you. Uh, today, we're going to be looking at 5U210303. Again, that's 5U210303. And this is a 2020 Dutch Star. Uh, this is kind of a unique coach. It's a shorter floor plan. It's a 37 foot RV and it's just been traded in. Uh, it's got just about 8,000 miles on it. So very low miles and they actually just got a larger Dutch Star. So uh, come on back. Let's go ahead and take a look. Nick, you can kind of pan through the cabin as we go and show everybody how beautiful this RV is. So today we're going to start off in the, in the restroom. Uh, this is a bath and a half model. Uh, so really, really nice floor plan, uh, especially if you like to entertain and have guests. Uh, really spacious and uh, full of a lot of higher end features. Uh, the Dutch Star is over and over again our number one selling product line in, the North, in Northern America. So uh, we do really well with the Dutch Star here at Newmar. And the reason is it's got a lot of really nice high-end features. And what's unique about this coach is the fact that this is a shorter coach. Uh, so it's a single axle instead of a dual axle. Um, it's going to give you, um, it's quite a bit lighter. It's about 10,000 pounds uh, less than the dual axle would be. Um, so that's pretty unique. And then it gives you a lot better park access because it's a little bit smaller and also maybe easier to maneuver. And if you have something that you'd like to trailer, for instance, a car, uh, a little bit shorter, so a little bit less that you're driving down the road with. Uh, but let's go ahead and talk about some of these features. So first and foremost, um, there are some nice optional features in here that you don't see in all of the new Mars. They do have and have elected for the optional safe in this wardrobe closet. And this is a really nice big wardrobe closet. And it's next to a 35 inch radius shower. And there's another drawer down below here. And I'm gonna go ahead and close that up and I'll show you inside of the shower. Uh, the teak bench inside of the shower makes for a really nice place to be able to wash your feet or shave your legs. Uh, you do have the rainfall shower head as well as the handheld wand. And then here's your sour seat. And as you can see here, it's really nice. I actually have quite a bit of room to be able to wash my feet or shave my legs, whatever I might need. And then there's another shelf down here, Nick, if you'd like to just show them where you can keep your toiletries and your soap, which is really convenient as well. So there's one up here and one down below. So plenty of room for a couple. Uh, and that brings us to our vanity. So the nice thing about the vanity here is that we have a huge medicine cabinet. And it's really nice, it's all carpet lined. And there's a 110 outlet in there. And then I really love, um, first of all, the dark faucet finishes. So they've got these nice dark finishes throughout the coach. Um, but I love the fact that this actually has two drawers, a his and hers, if you will. So uh, everyone has a place to keep their own personal goods. And then once again, lots and lots of storage is kind of a new art tradition. So another drawer here, here. And these are really deep drawers. And you'll notice all of these are soft clothes. And this is a stable maple finish in the high gloss. That's a great place to keep towels. Lots of room there. And then on the note of towels, we do have like a nice little uh, washcloth holder here. And then over to the left behind the toilet, you've got another um, place you can hang a washcloth here. And then another towel rack up here as well. And you'll notice here on this panel that we have 
uh, your fan, all of your light controls. Uh, the Aquamizer is kind of an interesting feature. So what Aquamizer means is that you can run your water uh, in your shower without actually uh, turning it on. So you can warm it first. This is an all-electric coach with hydraulic heating and instantaneous hot water. What's really nice about this though is that instead of having your gray water tank fill up while you're warming up your water, you can have it recycle until you're ready to actually start taking a bath. And then most importantly, you can see here's your bath floor heat. So you've got high, medium, and low, uh, which means you've got heated floors, and then your Dometic flush is right here. Um, and then that'll lead us over to uh, this rear escape door. So this is something that Numar does. So not only does this open, which is really nice, and so you can get some ventilation here above and beyond your fantastic fan, but you also have fresh air coming into the coach if you like. And then this door could actually be released and open. And if you pull this cover, there's a magnetic cover here. The ladder deploys. And this can be used as an escape hatch or very simply just a place to load and unload things that you might want to, linens, uh, towels, washing supplies, all that stuff. Clothing maybe. Uh, and then here, oh, a pop. I think you can catch that. Just a nice place for your robe. I think that that's kind of important. And then here we have the Slendeed washer and dryer. What's nice about the Slendeed washer and dryer is first of all it's got a lot of different optional features for how you can wash your clothes. And then above and beyond that it's also a really great place to keep soiled laundry. So if you have something that smells like campfire, it's awesome. You can keep it in here and it will keep everything from being kind of stinky. Um, so the, another thing that we want to talk about here is this really big, beautiful cathedral ceiling. Um, so what's nice about this is you can see how tall this is, and it's eliminated the need to have the fantastic fan above the shower. There's plenty of headroom. Uh, we're allowed to. We, it allows us to actually have a ton of space for those that are taller, so they can also take a shower. And um, you know, a lot of the other RVs, when you go down into the Ventana, you've got kind of a stationary ceiling height. So that's one of the advantages to moving into the Dutch, Har Dutch Stars, this beautiful cathedral ceiling. Um, and that'll bring us into the bedroom where we can talk about another pretty strategic advantage. Uh, down here on the floor, you'll notice that there's no carpet here. So in most of the RVs, this will typically be carpet. Uh, but this hydraulic uh, slide that we have, which is a whole house slide, so this is driver's side slide is the entire length, um, is able to come up and out so that you can actually not have carpet here, which is a really, really nice feature uh, in this RV. Um, and then notice here we have two, once again, very generous wardrobes. Again, there's outlets everywhere. There's another 110 outlet up there, uh, which is handy if you wanted to charge, for instance, a laptop, perhaps. You could do that without anyone knowing that you had something you know, in there. You keep valuables in there. They're not in your safe. Um, and then here we have our slide control. And then once again, we have our electric heat for our bedroom. And then we have all of the control for our lighting here. And we'll get to the accent lights, but that's an important one. We'll talk about that. That's really pretty. Uh, so right here is where you have your Blu-ray player. And then you've got five more drawers. So a lot of storage capacity here. And once again, this is the Sable Maple uh, high gloss finish, and they're all soft clothes, uh, beautifully adorned, and just really nicely dovetailed. High construction, of course, the Amish and Napanee take a lot of pride in their work. Uh, you love these solid surface countertops. And then once again, another emergency exit. So there's not a point in this coach where you couldn't get out if you needed to. Uh, hopefully you never need to use it, but it's good to know that it's there. And then another wardrobe, of course. And then, of course, these are all lit wardrobes, which is really convenient. Um, and that will bring us to our accent lighting. So here we have this beautiful accent lighting. Um, and so it just creates a really nice, soft glow throughout the RV. Um, so you can keep those on at night if you want to have a little bit of mood lighting. Um, it just really kind of enhances the environment that you get with this RV. Uh, and that brings us to our full-length mirror. Uh, this is a great feature in an RV, something that's a little bit hard to come by sometimes. Um, it's just nice to know how you look when you're getting out and ready for the day. Um, so really beautiful, and it's, it's a dark mirror, so it doesn't, you know, it's not too garish in the cabin. It's actually very, very subtle and quite attractive. 
Um, and then once again, accent lighting from maybe a distance. Here we do have uh, under the nightstand places to keep, for instance, books, water bottles, um, maybe a magazine or two. And then of course there's a 110 outlet there and USB outlet so you can charge your phone. And then we're gonna take a look overhead. Uh, we were talking earlier about how important this is. So uh, this cabinet is so nice because it actually has not only some carpet lining, but it also has a plug here in the back. So that 110 outlet is just very handy. It will allow you to run a CPAP machine through these little covers that are right here so it can come down below. And then you've got reading lights for his and hers, as well as uh, windows for cross ventilation on both sides of the bed. Uh, this is an aftermarket sleep number, so the client that took delivery of this wanted to upgrade the, the mattress, and uh, it's just got, like I said, only 8,000 miles on it, so fairly new, um, nice controller, maybe a little bit of an upgrade even to what you might get when you order one through Numar, so that's kind of a cool feature. Uh, and then keep in mind, too, you've got controls above the bed over the headboard, so you've got a lot of control in here. Um, so if you want to turn your lights on and off, you can do that from right up here. And I'll just point to where they are so that gimbal's hard to get angled up there. It's okay. Nick, do you want to show the ceiling here? So the ductwork is all covered by this beautiful ceiling. And we've got this nice soft finish ceiling. Um, but this is a really attractive kind of a contemporary look. It's not uh, so traditional. It's, it's a really nice, attractive, streamlined um, finish for this RV. The Dutch Star is, like I said, one of our top selling RVs year after year. Uh, and the, one of the reasons why is it's very opulent, but it's also not over the top, um, how shall we say, like Liberace. It's, it's a really nice high level finish without being too fancy. Uh, but speaking of fancy, take a look at this. I love the soft glass door. So this is a really nice door to be able to separate the coach um, from the front from the back. Uh, so that kind of concludes our tour of the bedroom. As you can see, that just locks into place. And then we're gonna go ahead and keep going down, Nick. There's a little feature here that's really handy. This is our intervac system. So you'll notice that you don't need to bring a vacuum cleaner with you. You've got everything that you need right there. The hose attachments are outside underneath, um, but it's great. You've got everything you need. You can either sweep to or just run that vacuum. And so here we are in the galley, the beginning of the galley, with a really amazing amount of storage space. So I'll start from the bottom and just show you how deep all of these drawers are and Karen was kind enough to leave her vegetable liner here. She's got these all lined. So once again, not only are they adjustable, but also no rattles and really, really nice pantry with just a ton of storage uh, for you. So if you wanna go on a longer road trip or even stay a few months, um, this is a very comfortable kitchen for just anybody who wants to get out on the open road. Uh, that brings us to our residential size wa uh, refrigerator. You've got your water dispenser here. And then once again, vegetable liner throughout. Thank you, Karen. And Joe, I'm sure Joe had something to do with it. Um, and then this has got a water filtration system for the door water. Um, I really like the cheese drawers and the vegetable drawers down below. Super convenient. And then these, these are all kind of adjustable, so you can have more or less room if you like. Taller objects, bottles of Prosecco all important. Um, and then a big, big, big freezer down here with an ice maker as well. So lots of storage there. And that's going to bring us to the other part of our galley, uh, which is this beautiful kitchen. Uh, so a few features about this that are kind of unique. So first of all, I love this spice drawer, I would probably put salt and pepper in here, any kind of spices that I might have. And a lot of people might be thinking, well, no, you would put your dish brush there. Well, you don't need to because you actually have a really handy place to keep it right there in this Dutch star. Now we do have a residential style faucet with both spray and pour features and a really nice deep two basin stainless steel sink. So super handy there. And then below here, 
we have a little slide out for trash as well as one for any kind of cleaning supplies and then nick if you can get back there in that left hand corner that's a little place to stow your slide your toppers so if you wanted to stow your sink covers you could stow those there or if you wanted to stow the covers that you have for your induction cooktop now that being said you probably don't want to stow those because if you'll see over here they're really cool they're actually uh, outfitted with a cutting board on the back and then a solid surface on the top so they just flip over and this true induction is really quite amazing if you haven't used this before uh, one of the things that this really boasts is um, energy efficiency now when I say energy efficiency uh, you cannot run this without having either your generator on or being plugged into shore power uh, but of course you can do that even driving down the road so if you want to make scrambled eggs while you know you're driving down to Yosemite you can make scrambled eggs you could also take this out when you get there right and put it on a kitchen or kitchen table picnic table outside so if you wanted to for instance cook trout that you might have caught or bacon and you don't want that smell inside of your coach you can take this outside which is really handy um, but the reason it's energy efficient is because it is so quick to heat um, and when I say that what's interesting about it is you could put a paper towel down and then an all clad copper core pot put it right on top full of water and turn it on and it would boil faster than anything over gas so this all electric uh, kitchen what it does for you is it gives you really quick and precise cooking time so you can actually set this to be at a particular temperature like 350 degrees or if you wanted to sear something you could have it be a, a lot hotter a lot faster so you could sear tuna or your steaks whatever it is if you've got kind of inclement weather outside so really really great feature about this RV is that it does have the all-electric feature um, and once again we talked a little bit about hydronic heat what that is is there's actually a glycol uh, fluid that's going through a line around the exterior of the coach and it gets really hot with your oasis system so it heats up really really hot and then air blows over the top of it and that's what warms your coach so not only do you have your your penguin heat pumps and air conditioning units um, you also have this hydronic heating system which is going to give you really comfortable existence in addition to your electrically heated floors so there's a lot of ways to be comfortable in this RV which I think is pretty awesome um, that being said uh, we've got more storage up here this is a great place for anyone who has you know allspice and uh, the Cajun seasonings and all those things that you want to keep maybe some barbecue sauce hot sauce it's a great little cabinet up there uh, of course Numar is just really good at efficient use of space so lots and lots of storage and then you know when you know the difference you know that you get a Numar because everything once again is carpet lined you've got these really beautiful extendable shelves that give you much better reach you're not trying to get over that kitchen to get that reach in there so super nice storage in here um, and then right here you'll see now they're sideways and it's kind of funny I think that our clients might have moved the sticker from the front to here but you'll see we do have a, our brand specialist here so our Dutch our Dutch star brand specialists are uh, Mary and Spencer and one of the things that's really unique uh, to Numar is that we have a support line for you so here at Frederick what we'll do is we have first of all a really nice thorough walk uh, with either Bill Habercorn or Gary Mullivan. Um, Gary Movellan has a following online of people who just love his walks. Bill Habercorn has been in the industry for uh, tens of years I mean I think 20 some odd years so a ton of knowledge uh, about RVing and they're available to you if you have questions after your walk and your presentation on how to use your coach but if they aren't available you have Numar who offers support to you and this is a very unique feature that you don't find in a lot of RV companies which is you know what do I do when I need a question answered what do I do if I don't know how to reset my generator what do I do you know anything that's just nice to know that you have company contacts a place you can email or call in and get answers and then we have this thing called Noogle uh, Noogle's like Google for your RV and it's crazy they have a bunch of videos they spend a lot of time uh, making sure you really understand stuff so great place to go camping uh, when you know what you're doing and then one last little drawer here and that's going to bring us to uh, our kitchen area and our dinette so one of the things that's really nice about this dinette is look at how much room you have so not only can you seat four comfortably and I mean really comfortably there's another two chairs so this is a ton 
of eating space. And I love that this is solid. So if you had your drinks here, your salt and pepper, you keep everything there. Once again, we have opening windows throughout this cab. Again, 110 outlets, which is really nice. These beautiful sconces. Of course, our very classic uh, Newmar trait, we have this beautiful clock, just making sure we know what time it is. Uh, but yeah, so, so super beautiful, solid surface countertops. And then below, uh oh, I better come over here and do this. We have a ton of additional storage. So that's a great place to keep bread, cereal, anything along those lines. And Nick, if you want to come back here, under the bed here, we have our additional chairs. So you've got two additional chairs and then our uh, two additional leafs, as well as all of the original manuals for this coach. So we have everything that the RV came with. So it's almost like getting a new RV with just a great deal because someone put a few miles on it before you had a chance to inherit it. So beautiful, beautiful opportunity here. Um, and one of the things I think that's kind of interesting about this is it's a bath and a half model in the 37 foot RV. So we have this whole center bathroom. So once again, porcelain toilet, got a window that opens, and then here's our cabinet full of um, your breaker box and all your fuses, really easy to access. 110 outlets once again up top. And then what's really nice is that Newmar has done a really good job in actually u making use of all the space. So there's a cabinet just to the right of that breaker box that has, uh, if you open that up, Nick, a ton of additional space. And they just didn't waste anything. It goes all the way back, once again, carpet lined. So you know, suntan lotion, hairspray, hair dryers, all those things. And then another one down below, which is a great place to keep for me, things like paper towels and toilet paper and all my supplies that I might need. And then once again, another beautiful uh, washcloth holder. And the vanity mirror has got uh, a nice sconce above it. And then a ton of storage in that medicine cabinet as well. So great storage for anything you might need, bug spray, all that stuff. And then below that, you'll see that beautiful vessel sink. And then a few more cabinets as well. So just a lot of uh, extra storage in this RV. Numar does a really good job at making sure that they don't leave any space unused. It's so important when you're, um, when you're camping to have all of the things that you need uh, right at your fingertips. Um, so on that note, we've talked about the central vac, we've talked about um, the in-floor heating, we've talked about the hydronic heat updates. Uh, one thing we haven't covered yet is something that this uh, customer did that I think is really brilliant. Um, they had a really high traffic area where they were constantly using their couch to watch TV and they wanted something a little more comfortable, but instead of having it set up so that they had their... Um, recliners in this nice white parchment color. They went a little bit darker so they would be a little easier to keep clean. Um, and they're just beautiful recliners and they function much the same as uh, what we would have as an optional theater seating package. Uh, the storage though is kind of cool. So it slides out, which is kind of neat. little plug there for Trans West. Um, and then if you look, and Nick, I'll show this to you, they actually have just this little power feature right here. So very similar to uh, what you would have in the theater seating that comes with uh, our regular option, but nice because it's darker, a little bit easier to take care of, a little less wear and tear, and they really did a great job at pairing it. Matches the whole floor and the ensemble of the entire coach, even though it's a different color. Now that brings me over to, we talked about the true induction. Um, we've got a little more to cover in the way of remotes. We've got a lot of remotes here. Um, we do have the universal remote if you want to use that feature. 
Um, but then more importantly, uh, touch-up paint comes standard. We have these other remotes up here, and you'll notice that this says MCD on here. So a really unusual feature is to have power shades on a Dutch star. So um, this is a really nice feature that you'll notice we have. And of course, you've got day and night shades, but super fast. Um, definitely a luxury in this RV. And then I'm going to go ahead and push this button so we can see out that window with the televator down. Um, but while I do that, we'll take a look up top and just show that there's, again, a ton of really deep storage space. Um, these three cabinets would be great for board games. And then probably glassware if I was you. Um, you know, wine glasses, drinking cups, all those things. That would just be a really convenient place to keep everything in your kitchen. And once again, carpet lined, so really, really convenient and not making a lot of rattles. So pretty awesome there. And these cabinets are so nice. This maple is so solid. Um, the finish is so beautiful. They do such an amazing job in Napanee uh, where they assemble these coaches for uh, Newmar. Uh, they take a lot of pride in uh, their craftsmanship. Now that brings us over here to our little jackknife bed. And if I show you this now, I won't have to do a video for you later. There we go. Um, so people say, how much room do you have? Well, I would be fine. Like I could be really comfortable here. Um, grandkids would be comfortable here. Um, I'm not very tall. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know if you'd put your six foot six son on this, uh, on this bed. But that being said, you've got a ton of room here. And once again, no carpet. So if you wanted to have an inflatable queen mattress or king mattress, you could always do that. Now, let's see if I can be graceful with this. It's actually really easy to put up and down. Just have to believe. There you go. Um, so, brings us over here. Once again, more storage. Uh, Blu-ray player. This has a Wi-Fi system and a satellite system already installed. You just have to come with the receivers. And then we've got our sound bar above which is really wonderful. It's uh, Wi-Fi, so you can listen to the radio from your phone in your RV. Really, really convenient. Um, super nice feature, I think. And then I've got the uh, remote for the awning package. So this does have the Nova awnings. So that Gerard package is really, really beautiful. Uh, we'll take a look at that outside. But before we go outside, let's just take a look. Again, some additional storage. You've got one of these on each side. Great place to keep a water bottle. And then, again, those beautiful sconces, lots of 110 outlets, like one down here. And then another one back here. So lots of places to charge your phone. These are also with USB. So all of these have these USB ports in them. Really, really convenient uh, for anyone making their way down the road. So it's going to bring us to the front here. So uh, not only do you get uh, really great, uh, like I said, 10,000 pound lighter uh, RV uh, in the 37 foot. You also still get the 450 horsepower engine with 1,250 foot pounds of torque, which is super amazing. Um, some of the features that are really worth mentioning on this RV are the fact that we've got the 360 degree camera system. So this is the upgraded camera system that has overhead as well as left turning, right turning, and behind. Um, so this is pre-wired for everything that you need for a stacker as well. Uh, this coach has a 10,000 pound towing capacity. Um, it also has a um, 5,000 pound trailer capacity. So you can flat tow 10,000 pounds and you can tow a trailer up to 5,000 pounds. And, and once again, that's with a lot of low end torque. So very, very handy. All of your shade controls, everything is here. Um, one of the nice features about getting into this 2020 is that you're going to have uh, your wonderful uh, tire pressure monitoring system. You'll see that we are a little uh, underinflated, so it's telling us that we need to fix our tire pressure. Uh, this RV was just traded in, so it will go through the shop. All of these things will be uh, gone through before you would pick up. 
Um, and then note too, also we have these wireless charging ports. So you can literally put your phone down here and have it charge and it's right there in front of you. And then it's gonna bring us above. So this is kind of cool. This is gonna be a really nice feature. You've got uh, control of all of your air conditioning, your HVAC systems. Uh, you've got control of your water tank, so you can take a look and see, you know, how you're holding with your uh, with your electricity, as well as what your water looks like. And then you've got your slide-out control here. Um, and so, this is just a really, really nice, clean setup. Uh, you'll notice that we have our Oasis system here, and then you'll see these awnings. Uh, one of the things we can take a look at, Nick, is if you can just show outside of this uh, living room window, I have the, one of the awnings uh, drawn, and I'll go ahead and I'm going to put that up while you're watching, that way you can kind of see what that does. So super cool, if you're going to be in a hot climate, you can actually uh, put your awnings up and down and keep the heat out of the cabin of your RV, which is so nice. And I'm gonna go ahead and go to the back and door slide the living room awning. I'm gonna put the bed slide in just so we can kind of see what this RV looks like without all of the slides out and what kind of walking capacity you have. When you're moving. So this coach is really easy to um, get set up and to take down. Uh, one of the things I've learned in making all of these videos is I have to come in and get everything kind of taken out and, and put in place. And with the Numars, it's very, very um, easy. There's the controls are kind of you know similar throughout all of the different RVs that they carry. Um, this coach has uh, 13 different floor plans, um, but you know, you'll find like your sink covers are always kind of like this. You've always got your cutting boards on the back of your uh, true induction stove top. So just really nice consistencies throughout the brand. And then Nick, if you want to go back that way, I'm going to go ahead and bring these slides in. So this is pretty impressive, and I'm doing both at the same time, and it was snowing pretty good earlier, so I'm doing all of this off of generator power. I didn't want to plug in in our spring storm. So this is all the way in, and what's really nice about this is that you can see, you actually can get in here, uh, you can open your refrigerator, you can microwave a burrito, you can fry some eggs, um, really kind of do whatever you'd like to do inside of this coach. Sit at the table, uh, there's seatbelts here and here. You could also sit back and watch a movie. Um, so really comfortable um, from the inside. So uh, before we head out, Nick, I wanted to show you uh, we've got a power driver's window, which is nice. And then also we have a hydraulic leveling system, which is super handy. And then these are heated, uh, heated stairs. And then we all have all of these wonderful settings you can see right here. So you, you know, you've got, you know, your recliner setting and everything's power. And then I want to show you this. And this is just so, well, I have three puppies and they would all probably like to sit in the window well, but <laughs> if you don't want your puppies in the window well or you just want a place to put your feet that's solid, that cover is really easy to get to. It's right there. Um, so let's go ahead and head out. On the way out, Nick, if you don't mind just showing this lock and unlock button. And then I'm going to have you just kind of film while we bring in So if you don't mind, Nick, just go ahead and film while we bring in these different uh, awnings. So we really have a lot of really nice awning coverage.
So pretty cool, and as you can see, there's LED light strips. And then once again, this is another one of the awnings that we have. And then there's another awning here, and this would be right above, uh, right above the television. as a cigarette lighter so if you wanted to plate your paddle board which would be my priority you could do that there and then you'll also notice you've got your diesel filling station you've got one on each side which is really convenient and then the chrome underneath and the chrome baggage handles really nice and then this uh, compartment has a pullout available as well and that's where you'll see all of your vacuum cleaner attachments pretty cool and they call this a tool shed but I would say this is a great place to keep all sorts of stuff like margarita mix bug spray suntan lotion uh, solo cups whatever you might need for your outdoor dining experience heck you could actually hang up all of your barbecue utensils I mean, how cool would that be? Um, so, tool shed. All sorts of different tools in life, right? Um, one of the things that's really nice is that we do have, uh-oh, <laughs> I can't ever reach this thing to get it back down, but we have this great television to outdoor uh, <laughs> TV area. And again, once again, there's a sound bar there. So if you just wanted to listen to the radio, you could do that outside in your RV, which is super nice. Um, Look at how deep that is. And then you'll notice here, we also have the road vac system. This is your and this is your central vac system, but you have an access point from the outside as well. And both the interior and exterior of this RV are covered in uh, the Wiley decor. So you've got Wiley graphics on the outside, a uh, really beautiful color. Um, you'll notice there's your side camera for one of your 360 cameras right here. And then this is that window that pops open in the uh, half bath. But again, Wiley graphics. Here's your other toilets right here. A little more storage. And this is gonna have six AGM batteries and two chassis batteries. Uh, there are lights, by the way, throughout this coach. I've got most of them on on the inside, just so you can see how nice they are. But this is just a really convenient coach, and this does have the optional package with the slides uh, have LED light strip underneath as well. Oops. And here's your chassis batteries, and this is your battery disconnect. Um, so that's just important to know. If you turn this off, you can really just kind of pull in, bring your slides in, get your vehicle, make sure it's winterized, turn that off, and you're good for storage. Uh, we do recommend that you come out and start your generator from time to time just to keep it up and running. Uh, but come to the back of this RV. How amazing is this? Um, so this is the release to get into your engine compartment. But what's most important is to understand that this is running on a 450 horsepower Cummins engine. And you can tell it's a Cummins because it's red. So the Freightliner chassis, when it's paired with a Cummins engine, will always have a red engine. That's how you'll know you're running Cummins. And then back over here, Nick, can show that's your Oasis hydronic fluid. So once again, that is that glycol mix um, that you'll want to make sure that it's it's adequate. So it's above uh, the cold line so that you'll always have your hydronic heat. Um, it's really important to make sure that that fluid is topped off. Here's another camera. And if you want to just step back and take a look at how beautiful um, this Dutch Star is, again, Wiley Graphics, 450 horsepower. This coach is only 37 feet, 11 inches long. It's got a 10,000 pound flat tow capacity with 1,250 foot pounds of torque and a 5,000 pound trailer rating. It's all pre-wired for you, nice and easy. This is your trunk release or hood release, if you will, to get into your engine compartment. And then that's gonna bring us down the other side. So here's your DEF fluid, and then also 
a place to keep your hose. So if you want to keep your sewer hose out of the way, it's a nice place to be able to keep your sewer hose. You don't have to store it anywhere else. And then we do have a 50 uh, amp power hose reel as well. And then once again, lighted, uh, lighted cabins. Um, if you can find a place that needs a coax for cable, there you go. I don't know if we do that anymore, but anyone's on Netflix these days. Uh, the power is right here for that hose reel. That's how you would get there. Oops. And then that brings us to this water base. So this is super, super nice. As you can see, uh, there's a place up here for paper towels. You have an outdoor shower. This coach has been winterized. We would be happy to put water on board for you when you come out. We can have this ready to go. And then you'll have a cover here. So for your gravity system, you just put that back on, but you can run your hose out there. And then this is for your whole house water filter. So I know we mentioned that there was a water filter inside, but there is another for the exterior. I'll give you a new filter. This is your fresh water. Uh, supply here and this is again just a really really nicely set up very clean easy to use area and I love the outside shower if you've got to rinse off a dog or a kid or a paddleboard all those things are super simple and then this is your oasis system so this is what's giving you not only uh, endless hot water so you've got a hundred and five gallon fresh water tank You've got a 65 gallon gray water tank, and I want to say that you have a 55 gallon sewage tank, but this is what's giving you all of that hot water. So if you were plugged into a sewer system, for instance, and uh, you had your oasis and you had uh, 50 amp power, you could take a shower for an entire day. Two hours, an hour, my daughter would be so happy. Not that the apple falls far from the tree. Uh, so once again, just the backside of that other storage area. Great place to keep one of those little Outlander propane fire pits. Those are great here in Colorado. We have fire bands a lot. And then here are all eight AGM batteries. These are your house batteries. And they are on a nice system that has a pin here and it slides out. So easy access if they need to be replaced. Um, and again, just a super nice RV. Lots of creature comforts, dual fill. And again, this is um, definitely our top seller in North America. This coach is just over 13 feet tall. It's 13 feet, one inches tall. It's 37 feet, 11 inches long. Um, it's a lot of RV and a really compact little, spa, little size. Great for huge park access. And then all the nice creature comforts that you get in a Dutch Star, like that all tile interior. Um, just really, really cool. Um, another camera, and then this huge, huge expanse of a windshield so that you can see everything on the open road. Um, another camera up top. Like I said, this is a wonderful uh, offer offering from us here at Trans West. This is a Dutch Star 37. Uh, <laughs> Let me make sure there we go get that closed in the Wiley graphics uh, 3736 beautiful beautiful offering uh, again my name is Katie O'Neill um, I did take this unit in on trade so if you've got any questions about it my number again is 303-562-8659 um, they came all the way out from Washington it's never been on the East Coast for storage or anything like that so nice West Coast uh, vehicle great condition uh, spent a lot of its life down in Arizona in the desert and um, came up here to become our product in exchange for another Dutch Star, uh, just a little bit bigger. And I hope um, that if you would like anything about it, I have the window sticker, I have all of the information about the owner. I'd be happy to get back with any questions you'd like to have answered. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for taking a tour of our Dutch Star. We'll see you again.